Hello and welcome to TipTop C Sharp Tutorials. In this video, we will uh, understand what are the different usages of using statement in C Sharp. The first usage is import namespaces. The second one is with dispose pattern. Then finally, we will see how to use the using statement for dispose pattern. Import namespaces. So as you may already know, Namespace is nothing but a logical grouping of different types in C Sharp. So if you are uh, defining your own custom types, you can group them under a custom namespace so that you can refer to these types. So whenever you want to uh, refer a type in a library, you will add reference to the library in the project and then import the namespace using the using statement as shown in this screenshot. So here, if you closely observe, there are different uh, color coding here. Uh, the system system collections generic and system dot link you these namespaces are, are in gray color it's grayed out that means that these are unused in the code or no type in these namespaces are being referred in the code below so these are unused and you can remove it and uh, there is another tip while dealing with uh, lengthy namespaces for example system dot threading dot tasks we are using tpl equals system dot threading dot tasks as an alias here. So alias are nothing but short and simplified names which you can uh, use in place of long namespaces so that uh, your typing effort will be less and the code will not uh, look cluttered. That's about importing namespaces and uh, tips associated with that. The second usage is with dispose pattern but before jumping into the details of dispose pattern let's understand what is a managed resource and unmanaged resources. These are the underlying concepts uh, which actually uh, serves as the motivation for building a dispose pattern. Managed resources are stored in managed heap which is uh, actually controlled by the common language runtime and uh, only .NET types are coming under managed resources. So what are unmanaged resources? These are staying out of managed heap but in the system memory and these are out of scope of CLR management common language runtime is not responsible for managing these resources memory allocation or deallocation. Uh, the examples for unmanaged resources could be window handle, uh, file stream, input output stream, uh, database connections or even com objects. So let's take a look at the types containing unmanaged resources and how the memory allocation and further underlying uh, the mechanisms are working. So let's define a class called employee and this employee constructor is taking an employee data writer. Okay, let's take a look at the definition of employee data writer. It has a write data method which takes a string content input and it writes a, it initializes a stream of a file stream type and then write the contents into the file stream. So what happens uh, if there is some error in between or exception is thrown, what happens to the stream? I know to understand uh, those details let's uh, let's understand how the memory allocation happens so we are going to initialize two instances of uh, employee e1 and e2 uh, and passing in different instances of employee data writer and behind the scenes the e1 and e2 variables are allocated to stack and if you want to know more details about the boxing and unboxing concepts and how uh, different uh, value types and reference types are being allocated in stack and heap then please watch our video on boxing and unboxing coming back to the stack uh, this even i need to are pointing to uh, the actual mem memory allocated on a managed heap so in managed heap you are seeing the memory allocated for these two instances and this is part of system memory and let's see what happens to the file stream so this even i need to employ instances are referring to io streams and then finally persisting the file to a file system and in case some error happens in between, then what happens is the memory allocated for these streams are not really freed up. Okay. So for that, we can try to understand what is a type called disposable. So I disposable is an interface, which is a key interface used for dispose pattern. It has a dispose method, and once we implement I disposable's dispose method. It gives us a placeholder or a place to free up the uh, streams or window handles or com objects, whatever be the uh, uh, cleaning code that you want to 
uh, place here. So once we implement id disposable, now it's the developer's responsibility to call the dispose. So this is where uh, using statement comes into picture. For example, instead of manually calling uh, dispose method for each uh, type that implements id disposable, you can use the using statement like this, using employee data writer writer equal to new employee data writer. And under this code block, in this between these curly braces, you can make use of the writer object. And once it ends the uh, curly braces or falls out of the scope of this chunk, then using statement will internally convert this into appropriate action of cleaning the resource. So as a tip, we need to note that type used in a using statement must be implicitly convertible to id disposable. If you have a type which does not implement id disposable, then using statement will not accept it under this block. So let's take a look at the MSIL code which is generated. So I used IL DASM, IL disassembler that comes with the Visual Studio and .NET Framework. So internally, uh, .NET Framework converts uh, this using statement into a try and finally block. And in the finally block, if you observe here, we have a dispose method being called. So this is to ensure that whether an error occurs or not, whatever be the condition, dispose method will be called. That's all about uh, different usages of uh, using statement. Thank you and please watch our videos on tip top C tutorials. Have a good day.